the sun. The sun has been in existence for about 4.6 billion years, and in that time, it has literally been the center of our universe. It holds 99.8% of the solar system's mass and is roughly 109 times the diameter of the Earth. So how did this happen? How did the sun form? I've read countless articles and watched numerous videos of how the Earth was formed, but never the sun. So stay tuned. I'm Chris, and we're analyzing the birth of the sun. This is Faxma in Space. Let's imagine a quiet universe. A universe that's approximately 93 billion light years in diameter. Although it may look empty, space is filled with gas and dust. When the sun was first formed, most of the material in space was hydrogen and helium, but some of it was made up of leftover remnants from the violent deaths of stars. About 4.5 billion years ago, many scientists think the sun and the rest of the solar system formed from a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula. Waves of energy traveling through space pressed clouds of such particles closer together, and gravity caused them to collapse in on themselves and then start to spin. The spin caused the cloud to flatten into a disk like a pancake. In the center, the material clumped together to form a protostar that would eventually become the sun. The young protostar was a ball of hydrogen and helium, not yet powered by fusion. Over tens of millions of years, the temperature and pressure of the material inside increased, jump-starting the fusion of hydrogen that drives the sun today. Today, the sun sits in isolation. But billions of years ago, it was part of a young, crowded neighborhood. Like all stars, it was born in a massive stellar nursery with thousands of others. But due to the tidal forces of the Milky Way, the nursery was torn apart and the stars were scattered about the galaxy. Earth will become uninhabitable for higher forms of life in a little over one billion years as the sun grows warmer and dries our planet. Therefore, stars slightly cooler than our sun, called orange dwarfs, are considered better for advanced life. So for every star like our sun, there are three times as many orange dwarfs in the Milky Way. After 50 million years, the sun became the mature star that we know today. Because of this, the sun will stay in this mature phase for approximately 10 billion years. So what did we learn here? The sun has been around for a long time. And although it all started with hydrogen and helium, plants need sunlight to grow. Animals, including humans, need plants for food and the oxygen they produce. Without heat from the sun, Earth would freeze. There would be no winds ocean currents, or clouds to transport water. Without the sun, the formation of life would have never happened. But of course, what do you think?